Good morning. Let's come together in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we prepare to celebrate Mass today, let us first acknowledge our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with God our Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Mass is offered today for grace through belitis. Lord God, to whom belong all creation, and who call us to serve you by caring for the gifts that surround us, inspire us by the example of St. Isidore, to share our food with the hungry, and to work for the salvation of all people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the flock of the whole flock, of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you attend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away from from them. So be vigilant, and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to, and to the, that gracious word of his that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions In every way, I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak. And keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O nations of the earth. Sing Sing to to God, God, O nations nations of the the earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring their gifts. Sing Sing to to God, God, O nations of the earth. Your kingdoms are of the earth. Sing to God. Chart praise, chant praise to the Lord, who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that scripture might be fulfilled. But now I'm coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. You know, in a real sense, both readings have a sense of our intimacy with God and, and with one another. I, the Acts of the Apostles, Paul leaves Ephesus, and, and, and the, the people all are so sad to see him go. Uh, they realize uh, they're never going to see him again. He's on his way to Rome where he'll be martyred. But there's something beautiful about that as they escort him to the boat and they they uh, they. they, they gather around him, embrace him, and there are tears in their eyes, weeping loudly, it says. Something beautiful there about his ministry in Ephesus and, and, and how it has impacted the people there. Uh, but also I think Jesus is saying something that kind of means the same thing. He's reminding us that, that his ministry in this world is not something that we diminished either. He remains with us and consecrates us. There's something beautiful about that prayer. He prays not just for his disciples, but for those who will believe in him through their word. That's us praying for us. So in a, in a real sense today, I, I think our scriptures call us to, to trust. God is caring for his church. He is with us, and in ways we don't recognize it, that he is intimately a part of all that we do as a church. I, I, I find great comfort in that, especially as I think about the feast day today. Today's the feast of St. Isidore. Isidore the farmer, uh, Isidore and Maria, both saints, his wife, Maria, are patrons of the National Catholic Rural Life Conference and, and really important for us here in, in, in Iowa. Uh, I know uh, my parents always had a statue of Isidore at home with uh, uh, horseshoe in his hand holding it and father Kaddish has another really neat image of uh saint isidore with a with a, a pig right in front of him <laughs> you know he, he was in from spain of course named after uh, isidore of seville poor peasant who worked on a farm he uh said to have uh, been able to trust in god so much that even though he got in trouble for it he always went to daily mass and somehow his work always got done, regardless of that. He would arrive late, but yet the angels were seen pushing his plow or pulling his plow. Uh, he had that much trust in God. Uh, his wife, Maria, also. Maria, patron of, of caring for the poor. Isidore was always bringing hungry people home to eat, and, and she always kept a pot of stew on the fire burning. And even when those days that... Uh, he brought too many home, and there wasn't enough. Isidore would say, well, go back and check the kettle again. There'd be enough. <laughs> Trust in God. Lots that we have to worry about in life. But, you know, let's imitate Isidore's trust that comes from that knowledge of Jesus' prayer for us, that he's with us, he's consecrated us, and learn to live a lot like those people in Ephesus recognizing the word of God that has been spoken to us.
Let's stand to pray. The Lord hears us as we pray. We pray for farmers and for all who labor with them. May, may they be granted safety in their toil, good weather for their crops, and success in their fields. We pray to the Lord. For all who work second and third shifts, may they receive the rest and respite they need. We pray to the Lord. For those who are charged with taking care of others, may they be filled with wisdom and prudence in their work. We pray to the Lord. For travelers, might they find safe passage in their destinations and happiness in their journey. We pray to the Lord. For those who are sick and suffering from long-term illness, may they be given strength to continue seeking health. We pray to the Lord. For the prayers we pause now to bring to God in silence. We pray to the Lord. God, our Father, your Son acquired your church with his own blood. Hear our prayers this day and fill us with your Holy Spirit that we too might invite all the world to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we have the bread that we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made, become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Wash away my iniquities. Cleanse me of my sin. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate as our dutiful service graciously complete the sanctifying work by which we are you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord the Lord be with you lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers of his divine life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing the hymn of your glory as they proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with Thomas, no, with, with all of our bishops, with all the clergy and all your people. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Th Thomas More, Isidore, and Maria, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Trusting in the love of God, we dare to now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from all evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sinfulness, but on the faith of your church and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share that peace with each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. word of my
when the paraclete comes, the spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness to me, and you also will bear witness, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us, and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace.